Hello YouTube, this is ADX Science Codex bringing to you another video straight from me. Um, I am playing a new card game. Well, I'm not, it's not really new, but it's, it's a pretty good card game to play, to learn how to play. It's not older than Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's around Yu-Gi-Oh's age. Um, it's a... Uh, Made in 2002 from 2005, and uh, I'm gonna teach you how to play it today. This is a how to video, and what's gonna happen is I'm gonna show you what to do and how to play it. So, first, I'm not gonna be using tokens, I'm gonna be using pennies because simply they're easier and they're, everybody knows what a penny is. There's nobody knows, usually, it is. beginners don't know what a token is. What you're gonna need is materials, pennies obviously uh, cards you're gonna need uh, a dark side and a light side uh, I'll get to you these later because I'm not gonna use these but I'll explain what they are uh, 30 cards in each deck and I'll get to how many you draw for your hand and everything later you're gonna need 12 die I use 10 because simply none of my cards I have in any of my decks require 12 so, uh, focus in, camera. What are you doing? What are you doing, camera? Focus. There it goes. Okay. Uh, simply, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you setup. Come on. Okay. So, dark side always goes first. So, let's go ahead. Oh yeah, and I do not use any of the mission cards, any of these, because simply, uh, I'm not gonna, I don't really like using them, simply because I can beat somebody without these, and they just confuse you up on, you know, you have to pay force, and all this other junk, and it's just really confusing, I can use, you know, like a, a unit like that, uh, fit to focus in, I'd show you. There it goes. I can use something like this. Let me see what this guy. There it goes. You know, I can use something like this and uh, beat somebody. So you know, it's not really that hard for me. But uh, okay. So start up is you draw seven cards. One, two, six, seven. You draw six, seven cards. I'm sorry. From both decks. So one, two, three. Five, six, seven, and uh, you look at what you've got in your deck. I'm not going to look at my uh, light side first. I'm going to look at my dark side and see what I got. Uh, two of the same card. I don't think it matters. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I've never got you know penalized for it in a game, but you know whatever. Uh, so basically, I have. You want to look. Oh, and also, this is a major, major contradiction to the game. You have a, you have three districts. You have the space, the ground, the character. To win the game, you have to control two of these areas. So, you know, you could, like, uh, have, yeah, plus, and you have to get your opponent's cards uh, out of those areas, so it could look like get my light side. It could, you know, you've got space. Let me hold the camera up right here. You got, you know, you got your space, your ground, and um, where's my character? I know I have character in here somewhere. I just put two decks together. There it is. And you could uh, do this. It could look like this, and the dark side wins. It could look like this, this, anything basically. You know, anything that uh, you know basically makes you. You have to own two of the three spaces to win the game. Okay. So I'm gonna take this out, and I'm going to. Okay. I don't know 
why I just shuffled my hand. It doesn't really matter. So, I hope that goes there. Okay. And, uh, you basically, and it goes ground, uh, space, ground, character. That's how the sequence is. Okay. And first, you want to look for space. This is the only space card I have. And you look at your build point or your build cost. This is that that that's what this is. This little number in the top left corner is your build cost. You want to look and see if you can find one that is really 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 high. So it'll be tougher for your opponent to make one that's higher. So you see I'm just 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 for instance, I'm going to look through my deck. I'm going to find one that's the first one I found. I could lay this card down and it's a seven so the enemy which is my opponent he would have to lay down a card that is worth more than seven or cards you can lay down two cards at a time that's the max and you can only have two cards in an arena which is an uh, area i mean excuse me um, you can only have two cards in one arena so if you if i was to lay this down he would have to lay down two cards that go over this and then I would have to lay down card card or cards uh, that would go over his say um, better explanation I lay down this he laid down a for instance a 5 and a 6 that's 11 uh, I would have to go I would add on to this I would find another card that adds on to this like an 8 for, for instance and that would take me to 15 then my opponent would have to lay down another card or cards that would go above 15. Okay. Let me just put this there and shuffle my deck. And, uh, okay. So we got this. We want to lay this down. Okay. And you see this. Focus in. It's got a 5 build cost. I'm going to lay that down. And then I'm going to find another card in my deck that is the ground. This. And it goes over what this is worth. Five plus three is eight. This is seven. Okay. I did that. Okay. Now I'm gonna I would end and and you have to draw every time you place down a card. You have to draw from your deck. So this is my lot deck. I would draw two cards and stick them in my hand, and I would draw one card and stick them in my hand of my dark side. So basically I'm using because I'm playing by myself, um have two hands. And you should have seven in each hand. Also, I forgot to mention this, but you start out with four force. And then when the game begins, after all this, you start out with eight force. Um, these are, let me see. Okay, on this card, it says, you can see that. Focus the camera in. Pay one build point, draw two cards, play only during your build step. What that means is you would pay a token or a build point, which would be a penny. What this does is you start out with five, okay, in the beginning of the game. And if you want to summon a card and it you have enough, which you can earn if you destroy cards such as on your enemy team you can earn build points so if you save your build points up you can summon strong cards um, you start out with five and character cards focus in mainly on force points um, ground cards um, 
this they focus in on basically build points as well. But um character cards, let me see if I can find you a character card this. Uh let's see if I can find one. If I can find you one. Ah, hold. Okay, uh, I don't have one. Let me search the map.